Welcome to the NJEDA Contractor Website Tutorial, NJEDA AA1 Form Data Entry Procedures. This tutorial will focus on the basics of creating, editing, and submitting an A1 form to the NJEDA. Let's get started. Open a web browser and go to the URL https colon slash slash aaonline dot njeda dot com. This brings up the login screen. In a previous tutorial we spoke about how to register for an account if you've never submitted an A1 or A2 form to the EDA. Today we're going to log in using the contractor ID that was supplied to us by the EDA. This brings up the form management screen. Because we do not have any A1 or A2 forms in progress, the forms aren't displayed here, but we do have the option of creating an A1 or a new A2 form. At the top of the page you can see the contractor name, address, ID, and FEIN number. And if any information has changed, we can click the update account button and that would take us to the page to submit changes to the EDA. Today we're going to focus on the A1 form. Now the project number is a unique five digit NJEDA project number that appears on all correspondence from the EDA to recipients of NJEDA financial assistance. Note that some projects have competing project numbers assigned to them from other county, state, or federal agencies. The NJEDA project number must be included on all reports related to affirmative action, prevailing wage, that are submitted to NJEDA. The company name refers to the legal name of the business or nonprofit entity that is a recipient of NJEDA financial assistance in the form of a bond, grant, or tax program. The date of the award is the execution date of the contract between the company receiving EDA financial assistance and the general contractor or prime contractor construction manager. If this information is not available, please enter the date that the AA form is being prepared instead. So for instance, March 1st, 2012, we could enter in as a date, March 1st, like that. or we can use this date picker if you click here and you can scroll to the date that you want to pick. So March 1st, the same information is included. The dollar amount of the award is the dollar amount associated with the contract date of award. This number should reflect the total cost of construction for the NJEDA project. the name and the address of project. Please enter our project name and description which includes the street address, town, and zip code. and the county that the project is located in. Project Later Agreement, PLA, indicate whether the project will be covered by a PLA. You can review information and click Save and Continue. On this next screen you can see a list of trades and crafts that we can add to the A1 form. We're looking for the projected total employees for each particular trade associated with this project. For a more detailed list of construction trades, codes, and their descriptions, go to our website at www.njeda.com slash affirmative action. 
for this particular example, we're going to add in electrician trade and total number of workers. We're looking for a headcount regardless of gender or ethnicity for this trade, electrician. For women, we're looking for projected women construction workers as a subset of this first amount total number. Minorities is projected minority workers as a subset of this first number. The projected phase in date is the projected start date for the construction trade electrician for this project. And we can use the date control or we can type in the date manually. Projected completion date is the projected end date for this particular trade on this project. September 24th. So we're going to review the information and then click Save and Continue. And in doing so, we can see the trades just are listed here, and then at the bottom of the form is the data that we have associated with it. So the electrician data that we just entered is shown here. If needed, we can edit the information by clicking Edit. I'll go ahead and do that just to show that the data has been saved. And if for some reason we need to delete that electrician data from this A1 form, we could click Delete. I'm going to leave the data uh, as it is and add another trade. We're going to add in laborer. And same process as before. Entering into total workers, women workers, minority workers, and phase in and completion dates. You can see here there's a drop down now for uh, phase in date. And this contains the previous date that we entered in for electricians. This is just a tool in case there are several trades that have the same start and end dates. In this example, we're going to use the same start date, August 1st. And the completion date for electricians was September 24th, but for laborers, we're going to add in a different date. And I'll use the date picker for that and select October 29th. We're going to review this information. It looks OK. I'm going to click Save and Continue. I'm going to add in one more uh, trade to this project, uh, Painters. Start date is September. 24th and the end date and we're going to select October 29th and we're back at the screen with the list of trades. Now you can see that we can add in any of these trades to the form and it also shows down at the bottom what trades we already have associated with this form. So electricians, laborers, and painters are already been saved. At any time, we can view the A1 form in progress to see where we are. So click this button here. It brings up a report. And this is the information we entered earlier, the project number, the contractor ID, the, the company receiving financial assistance, the date of the award, and the dollar amount. And down here, you can see the list of trades. And the data that we have entered in is populating these rows. So electricians, laborers, and painters. And as we add more trades, they will also be populating these rows. Down at the bottom, you can see the totals for each of the headcounts, the total headcount, the total women headcount, and total minority headcount. And these are reflected here at these boxes down below. 
Now the, the report also calculates percentages based on what we've entered in on the headcounts and also it has county goals. So our county project is in County Middlesex and for Middlesex these are the, the goals for the county. The county goals for minority and women workforce participation for construction are available on the state's website and also at the EDA's website www.njeda.com slash affirmative action. Okay, we're back on the report screen. I just want to point out a couple of things. Up at the top we have a toolbar that has drop down for magnification which allows us to make the report easier to view on the screen. There's a print icon for printing a copy for our own records and there's also a drop down for exporting the file to different file formats. For example, PDF or an Excel document. So if we click export, we could save the file to our own computer. I'm going to click exit report which takes us back to the form management screen. You can see our form we were just working on is in progress and has last modified date. If for some reason we wanted to delete this form in progress, we could do that by clicking this button here. Or if we log out and log back in another time, want to edit, add more data, we could do that by clicking edit. First, it brings up with a summary of what data we've already entered, and if any information has changed, we can change that by clicking this link here. I'm going to click Continue. It brings up the Trades and Crafts, so it has what we already have entered. If we wanted to add more data, we could. If we needed to edit the data we've entered, we could. I'm just going to click Save, go back to the Form Management screen. So I've reviewed the document. I've entered in the data and I'm ready to submit to the EDA. I just click this link right here. The EDA has received the document. It's been submitted for approval. And while it's pending approval, we can go back and view the report as we have the data entered. And you will receive notification when the EDA has reviewed your form. I want to thank you for watching the tutorial for A1 form data entry procedures. We've gone over how to create an A1 form and how to add data to it and also how to submit that information to the EDA. If you have any questions, please call 973-855-3447. We look forward to you using our website.